Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today, let's get ready with me to go on a brunch date. Um, and if you want to check out what primer I have on already, go check out my TikTok at Rilo underscore Lafay. I am doing the e.l.f. primer, the putty primer OG, and the new liquid putty primer. I'm doing a wear test to see if it really holds up to the OG putty primer. We shall see. Let me clip back my hair. Amazing. Perfect. Awesome. So let me tell you guys about this brunch date. I don't know what planet is in Gatorade right now, but I have had so many people from like different walks in life just reach out to me and they're like, hey, how are you doing? You know, just like kiki in, but never have I had so many people reach out to me. Um, like as much as like this past week or two, this like last month. Um, I know I look crazy. So I've ha never had so many people reach out to me and the guy I'm going on a little brunch date with, his name is Armando and we were really close. Not like really close, but we were really pretty good friends in college. Um, my freshman year um, actually. So, so he reached out just on like my snapchat story he's like hey i miss you oh because i had posted a little video of us in our dorms so there was like a shared kitchen and it was at the very bit like in the basement of our dorm building and i had shared a memory of all of us it was me and like armando and a couple other people um you know just going and making cookies i don't remember why but i mean that's college it, we did whatever we wanted at the worst hours possible you know and um he swiped up and he's like hey i miss you and you know of course that goes into oh well let's hang out let's see each other let's catch up so that was the first person who reached out to me and then I had a friend from an old job reach out. Um, I was a lifeguard for six, six years total. I was at two different facilities. Um, the first one I was there for five years and then the second one is where the girl worked. She's like, hey, let's go camping. And I'm like, girl, you are so adventurous. Um, I do love camping, but I have so much going on and I wish I could go with her. So I made a little brunchy brunch date with her too next weekend. Are we sensing a pattern? I love brunch. Going in my blush just with my fingers because it's the Kylie. Love. Um, so I'm getting ready to go meet Armando and honestly, I'm kind of nervous. I haven't seen him since college. Like I know college was very tough for me college not that it was not that it was like curricular kind of difficult because I loved my major um, I wish I could have continued with it I went to college for um, American Sign Language I wanted to be an interpreter I am it doesn't look this crazy I swear it looks crazy on the camera um, but it's pretty light but so I went to college for American Sign Language interpretation and you know I'm very passionate about um, the hearing and the deaf world and just bridging that gap between um, languages because it's um, ASL isn't universal but it is the one of the most used so just being able to communicate, not only with the deaf, but imagine you're a factory worker and a factory and everything is way too loud and you can't hear your partner and say, oh, like there's something happening, whatever. Like you can just sign to them because it's a non-verbal way of communication. And I just think that is extremely cool. So um, I had gone, I decided that my senior year of high school that I wanted to go and so Based on my research, there's only one 
one university who really offered a degree or all of like all of the special training and the ADA um, like certification to to be an interpreter. So that's where I went, and um, it was amazing. Um, I loved every second of it. I loved my professors. I loved my um, gosh, I forgot the name. She was assigned to me as like a administrative person. Oh my gosh, that's gonna bother me now that I can't remember it. But she was really, really great. Everything in college was amazing, educational wise, but you know, I had I had a really hard time making friends. Moved in with my best friend at the time um, as my roommate and we ended up having a really bad fallout because we just had a difference in the trajectory, trajectory of our paths which is totally normal but you know at the time my life was ending um, I so I made friends with the people around me in my dorms and that's where Armando comes in he was my next door neighbor um, and he actually introduced me to his roommate and so we all became friends so it was my dorm the dorm next to us and then the three across the way maybe it was just two I can't remember but um, we all became friends at the very beginning of college and I don't want to go into details but I had a very unfortunate um, demise in that in that dorm room and so I had moved not across campus but it was like two buildings over so I feel like it was across campus but it really wasn't um, and so I had lost contact with basically everyone from that dorm room because um, it was a whole messy situation or whatever and that's where I had met my other dorm mates. Um, they were interesting to say the least. My direct sweet mate, um, she was very nice um, whenever I did talk to her but it uh, she wasn't very social. I was a social butterfly. I wanted to talk to everyone. I could make friends with everyone. You know, like in college, I never met a stranger, ever. Um, it was the best and the worst time of my life, honestly. Um, if I could redo college again, I would definitely go in with a completely different mindset, um, as I'm sure a lot of people would. Um, do I really look this crazy right now? Because in my camera, I look crazy. But in my mirror, I look just fine. But, it's okay, we'll just keep blending a little bit more. Um, so, um, going back a little bit, I'm like all over the place, but um, Armando's roommate, um, his girlfriend actually ended up becoming one of my best friends. Um, she was a bridesmaid at my wedding and she has asked me to be her maid of honor in her wedding that's coming up here in a couple months, which is an extreme honor. Um, I honestly, I love her. I don't think I would have made it through college without her. Um, well, I mean, I didn't. I ended up dropping out, um, amidst 2020 um, unfortunately so I finished out the semester in 2020 um, and I just kind of never went back it uh I have a very hard time learning online it, it just made for a interesting learning environment um, I would I would love to go back. I'd love to um, be fluent again in sign language. Um, I'm gonna set one more time. Um, and kind of all of that. So I'm really excited to catch up with them and really, um, you know, just catch up on life, catch up on those things. Um, there was another person who reached out. Gosh, I don't even remember who it was. Um, I did not make plans with them. But. My best friend moved to South Dakota, okay? Unfortunate. Um, she loved her to frickin' death. Her name is Cameron, and um, she um, she is coming down to Colorado 
And I am, I forgot concealer again. That's why I look so crazy. I'm fired. Geez, you can't do my job right, not crazy. It's okay. But Cameron is coming down to um, Colorado, which I am super stoked and excited about. Let me do my eyebrows off camera and I will be right back. Now moving on to the eyes. I already put on my Morphe primer, um, but we're just gonna do something real easy, real fantastic. This will be super great. My son is my baby boa, my fur baby. He's uh, right under my tripod, so he just wants to be included, you know? We're not gonna be the ones to take that away from him. Um, yeah, so um, I guess a little life update. I am wanting to update my wardrobe. But when I tell you I have zero sense of fashion, like I don't have what they call staple pieces in my wardrobe. I just kind of, I go to black. If possible today, I'm wearing a black shirt, but today is one of the days where I'm actually wearing light jeans and a Dodgers jersey. Um, just to like, cause summer's coming in, I'm not really one to wear shorts. But I want to, you know, like those really cute, like dark, like jean shorts that have like cute rips in it that all the summer girlies wear. Um, I want that to be me, you know? And so I am going over my wardrobe. I'm figuring out what the heck I want to keep and what can I style and that whole thing. I'm using the James Charles palette. Take a dense brush. I'm gonna go in this one. I'm gonna do a look that can like transition to the nighttime. Maybe I can convince my husband to take me on a date tonight. We're, uh, we're supposed to be on a diet. So that also includes not eating out. So we'll see. We shall see. I know it looks crazy, but I gotta get all this pigment on here really compact it on there. Fluffy brush and I'm just gonna diffuse the edges. Man, I am just messing it up today. I realized I didn't set my eyes from the concealer and that's why I'm having such a hard time blending because it just wants to stick on to the pigment. It won't, my eyeshadow wants to stick on to the concealer, but pretty, pretty nicely blended out. I'm happy with this. And then going in with this orange shade. I'm just gonna put that on the outside. Okay. Taking that first dense brush, I'm just going to add more of that first shade on my lid. I'm about to be running late for our brunch date. So I gotta hurry the fuck up. Now I'm just gonna take a clean fluffy brush and just go on the very edges. Really diffuse it out into my skin, not into my makeup. I'm just gonna set this in place real quick. My Ardell Wispies in the 113 Black. Lashes are on, I'm just putting some of the Morphe mascara. For my lippy today, I'm gonna be using the ColourPop lippy pencil in the color BFF.
I love how smooth it is. Um, and then I'm going in with my uh, Makeup Forever, with my Makeup Forever lip pencil in the color full red. And I'm just gonna put that on the inside of my lips. Don't be afraid to rub it together. Just and then one more time with my color pop. Then last step, just going in with my Ofra highlight. Just very gently. And this is the final look. Thanks so much for watching my Get Ready With Me today. If you want to check out the wear test for the e.l.f. primer, head over to my TikTok and I will update you guys on how this makeup lasts throughout the day. Love you guys. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share my video if you enjoyed it. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye! Thank you.